does that even mean, Bower Games? We are back again today for another episode of Bower Family Learns, where I play a game with my family and teach you how to play at the same time. And right now, we have a special one, as we are going to be jumping into the middle of this legacy game from Haba. That is called Cap'n Pepe Treasure Ahoy. Now, this is going to be a game in which, in theory, you're going to play 25 times going through an entire story, which is kept track of in this adventure book right here. So, full warning, there will be a little bit of spoilers here. The story, I don't think, is one where it's going to be a huge deal if it gets spoiled to the point where we are, though, now, wouldn't you boys agree? Yeah. And just to refresh, I'm playing with my seven-year-old son, Luke. Hola. And my ten-year-old son, Sean. Hello. And so what we're about to show you is spoilerific. Let's go. So there's a couple different things. We're going to walk you through game number seven. We have played six games now. We're on game number seven. And uh, let's just get into it. So you can read the story here, or you can click on the QR code, and it has some cool sounds, and it'll take you to this website. It's on app. So let's get into it. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Chapter 7. Feels a bit queasy. Mia suddenly starts moaning, holding her stomach. You're all green around the nose. Are you feeling sick? Asks Tuga, worried. But Mia can't answer. She bends over the railing and starts throwing up. It's better now, she mumbles shortly afterwards and heads back to the oars. It turns out that one of the rare spices is not easily digestible in large quantities. Because you all ate a lot of it, nausea sometimes puts one or another of you out of action for a little while. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what this means is we have completed this part of Chapter 7's story. Because there's a beginning and there's an end. So now it's going to tell us how we're going to set up the game. So for this one, we're going to reach into the secret mystery legacy box, and we're going to grab out card nine. So I'll grab card nine, and sure enough, it's this card right here. Now how this is going to work is the spices that we ate have made our tummy a little bit upset, which means that uh, one of the crew members at the beginning of each round will decide with these tokens, which we unlocked a little bit earlier, is going to be sick and Whoever specifically has uh, this in front of them for this game will not be able to move that crew member. So, for instance, if I take it first, uh, so let's just say that I have it this time, uh, I cannot move the blue turtle at all when it gets to my turn. So we'll just make sure that everybody has this once per. Is that how we want to do it? Yep. Okay. So we'll start off with me. So now what we do is we know we're going on the mission, and the mission, uh, the mission never really changes. Sean, can you set up the oars? Mm -hmm. And Luke, can you set up the people? Is that okay? I need a card for there's your card, and there is your card. So these are some of the legacy cards right here. They look a little bit like this. Essentially, they're going to show you where you're going to set up either the people or the oars. Because the whole goal of each and every game you play, and you'll do this over the course of three rounds, so you're going to do it three times, is to get all of the people to their oar before time runs out. Now, Throughout the campaign, there have been things that we have unlocked from these mystery boxes down here. Um, well, it made things a little bit difficult. So there used to be a banana box that was in the way, and we'd have to move the banana box. There was people that were really tired, which means that as soon as they got to their oar, they just fell asleep, which means you had to kind of do them last or figure out a way to get around them. But what were you saying, Sean? This is the same exact card I got last time. Yeah, that's because we only have a very limited number of these cards that we have unlocked. There's only eight, so that is going to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. And then next time, you'll get these two cards, and the last time we get those two cards. So... We have the board set up. Luke, you can be Captain Pepe first. Let's figure out who is exhausted, or who's not feeling too well. Who's, whose Tell tummy is upset? Stop, okay, Dad? Stop right now. And um, put them right there. All right, so Mia is actually the one that you will not be able to move at all this time. Okay, and then Sean, you'll have it next, and I'll have it the last time, since we're playing a three-player game that actually works out kind of perfect. Uh, so, Luke, flip over that sand timer, and we'll get into the actual core gameplay, which, once again, is very similar. You can also use this to pass Captain Pepe around. We don't really need it. We, this is, we roll it. We this like is, to roll them. This is what he, what oh, yeah. he looks like. That's the first player marker, and it's very important that you pass that, and then the next player can take their turn. So, Sean goes after me? Yep. yep. Go for it. Three, two, one. And remember, you can't move Mia, but me and Sean can. 
I think you and I should just get me out of the way. Oh, and you can also talk about all the moves you're making. But this is the gist. You just pass around, yeah. you move one piece. You pass oh, around, oh, you move one piece. Move the turtle. I think that's a, probably a pretty good idea. Or do that. Either way. As long as you're moving fast. That's because we can fix anything, but we want to go fast. All right. Mia is at a roar. So we don't have to worry about that. We got to get yellow all the way to the back of the boat. So you know what? I think, I think I'm going to focus on getting Beaver Boy all the way to the back. And that's good. I... Those oh. two are going to have to go. We might need to move Mia a little bit more. Either way, just keep moving. Don't stop. The worst thing you can do is take too long of a turn. Yep. So, get that beaver. So, what I'm thinking is getting the beaver. So, get the beaver to go around that way. So, you can move the beaver. And then, as long it's just me and Sean are the only ones who uh, move Mia. Move Mia. Oop. And we'll just... It's like little musical chairs right here. Uh, and then I'd move the blue up, though. Yeah, up towards you. Because then, yeah, we can move Mia. Remember, you can't touch Mia, so you got to move somebody else this time. But do it quickly, please. That's not actually helpful. So we're going to have to fix that. Remember, we want him right here, buddy. Yep. I know you were thinking to go all the way around, but I think it'd just be way quicker if we... Okay, so we just need green and purple. Either one, just move it fast, buddy. Remember, the worst thing you can do is be indecisive. You're not one to you're not one to criticize on that. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. You take the longest turns. Well, that's because he is the youngest and he's learning. Either way, we have completed round one. So now what we're gonna do is, can you get the people and can you get the oars, Luke, or do you want me to get the oars? Oh, sorry. Great point. We should do this all cor the correct way. So. Now that we have completed this round, which means either you get all the people in their correct position or for the sand timer runs out, which you couldn't see, but we we're pretty close there, uh, you earn the number of thumbs up icons as the number of people that you got on here. The highest you can get is 15 and, and we mostly have gotten, the only time we haven't gotten 15 was level one where we got 14. And this is for ages six plus. We're playing with a hey, seven, a 10 and this. a 36 year old. So. All right, uh, so this is going to go over to Sean now because Sean is going to have to deal with the uh, the person who's exhausted. Um, Luke, are you going to figure that out? Stop. Are you doing the peoples or the oars, Sean? You do the people? Okay, then I will do the oars. There. Right, move this a little bit there. See, Sean, you cannot mess with the monkey boy. All right, don't mess with the monkey boy. Nope, I cannot mess with Charlie. That's interesting. There we go. Let's get these out of the way. Then we got blue right here, and we are ready to rock and roll. This is now kind of what you'd call round two, I guess. Ship Ahoy level two. All right, we ready? Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 ding. I probably should have looked before I flipped it. Uh, who can't, who can't, okay, you, you can't move green. Totally. Okay. Uh, let's get yellow all the way back there. Yellow's got a long ways to go. Oh, I should pass this. And then we'll get you over here. Out of yellow's way. Yellow is at yellow his Yellow is in place. Ooh, that purple one's going to be an interesting one to get. So maybe we can get purple heading the right way. Okay. You don't need to Yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah, I don't know if that, if that blue guy there was a good idea. We're going to have to fedangle with him. Move the monkey. Whatever you do, just do it fast, okay? I can't move Mr. Monkey. Um, I don't know what we're doing here, but we'll move that guy there, because I know he needs to go that way. <laughs> Whatever you do, just do it fast. It's a lot easier to fix mistakes than to stall making them. Remember, Sean can't move green. That's fine. Okay, so you can't touch green, but you could move the purple out of the way. Yeah, yeah. and then I could move the green out of the way. And then we could do a little musical chairs action here. <laughs> And then purple needs to go back, I think. Back towards the main. Yep. Which then means green can go over here. And then you should take care of green so Sean, because Sean can't. Yeah. And such I... a picky monkey. Oh. We're running. Ooh, we're running low. We're running low. Ah, okay, got it. Blue and yellow. So we just got to get blue. So you're going to have to move yellow. No, we're not done. Don't, oh. don't make the papa sound. Uh, I wouldn't have moved him there. Remember, we'd be easier to move him back here. All right. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, beaver boy! Run, 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 run,
Yeah. We're gonna, yeah. Yay! Oh, that was so. That was dead straight. You cannot see how close that was, but that Ooh. was super close. But we got all five, which is great. And we didn't break the rules. So, this is now we the have... last round of our mission. Guess what? We have unlocked the treasure. I don't remember the. Oh, in here. Uh, you want people or you want oars, Sean? I want. Oh, oh, it's me. Yeah. Peeps. Peeps, and I'll do the oars. All right, here's the people. Here's the oars, and we're currently on pace to get the saber sticker, because we'll show you how the sticker system works as well. Cause I think it's oh, yeah, you cool. forgot to give me my spa the spare uh, treasure. The spare treasure? What are you talking about? Uh, well, well, on the treasure thing, last time we played when we were on camera and we unlocked it, you forgot to give me the, give me the spare treasure. I don't think I did, did uh, I? Yeah, you did. Uh, really? I did. Yes, it was yellow rice. I'll give it to you later. When, in fact, I can give it to you when I show you how to work the sticker system. Uh, everything looks good. Everything. I'm missing a thumbs up. Tell me when to stop. It's not a big deal because we'll know. Okay. Sean, tell me when to stop. Somewhere in the box. Stop. And now I can't move Pepe. Mm, but he's my favorite to move, and he's totally in the way. All right, who's Captain Pepe? Me. And uh, flip the timer, and let's get ready to rock and roll. Sorry. Whoops. Please be more careful next time, okay? Because I don't know exactly where these were. We'll just assume that it was right here. Just eyeball it. It does make a difference, I think, though. But, all right. It was right there. Good to go. Good to go. Um, where did you just go to Alright. Mm, we need to get green. Green needs to get all the way to the front, so yeah, we'll cycle green around. Remember, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you moved purple. Yeah. Because I cannot move purple. Me and Sean are the only ones who can move purple. Oh, but purple's home. almost home. Yeah. Perfect. And then green's almost home, and blue is home. Oh, this is a gravy train with biscuit wheels. And because you use uh, just random cards pretty much every time, sometimes you can have easier ones than uh, more difficult ones. One time, <coughs> one time, <coughs> one time, tight. one time, two tight. people started at home. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that was right there. Well, I Either way, done. we have plenty of time. No need to stress. Mm -hmm. Bam, 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 bam. And that's all. You plan on figure, finishing this off? Uh, oh, oh. Rip. All right. Which means we have now done it three times and we have successfully. Oh, you're supposed to put those on. Yeah, but. but yeah, no, it's actually kind of important when explaining okay. the rules. Don't do it. Just It's too late now. So there's 15 on here exactly, and we got 15 on here. And the reason why is you start at the bottom, and as long as you get one on here, you've completed the mission. I don't know if that's on camera. Uh, the mission. So if you get any one on here, you complete the mission. So pretty much you're always going to do that. Now, if you get up into here, you start earning bonus stickers. And if you get up here, you earn an even more bonus sticker. And we did. We earned all the stickers. Yeah. But le first, let's get to Chapter 7, Part 2, to figure out where the story's going to go. Because what's going to happen is we're going to put stickers onto this map. And while you might not know what any of these things means, we know it because we went through the adventure part of it. All right, so Chapter chapter 7, the end. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's go. In the evening, you're all well again and rested. Yeah. Captain Pippet enthusiastically raises your flag a little higher. Madam Goto doesn't stand a chance against us. Oscar peers intently through his spyglass. Mm -hmm. Ahoy! Island in sight! As you take turns looking through the spyglass, Oscar suddenly feels like someone is watching him. He warily looks around the deck, but can't see anything. Had he looked into the water, he might have noticed the big shadow very close to the melody. Oh. The island is now easy to see, even without a spyglass. The remains of a shipwreck sway in shallow water. You also discover a cannon that's buried in the sand Ooh. on the beach. Ooh, a cannon. Having a cannon on board isn't bad. Maybe it'll be helpful in the fight against Madame Goldtooth. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the ring does its job and the cannon floats on board. Bob gets it going in a few simple steps. You don't have any cannonballs, 
but melons and coconuts are also great ammunition. Oh yeah. You oh, high five each other happily, but Tuga furrows his brow in surprise. The compass says that we don't need to go to this island, but one further west. Well, let's go, calls Captain Pepe decisively. All right. So, a couple things there. They reference this magical ring that we have unlocked because we have these two magical items. We also have our treasure chest of booty, which are actually stickers that you learn throughout the game. And because we completed chapter seven, you can see there's this little symbol right here. This means that you are going to take your handy dandy sticker sheet and you are going to pull out the chapter seven sticker. So how you do is you pull them up. Now you can see we already did chapter four and chapter five and chapter six. Right where I got to give Sean his extra sticker because one of the stickers you won't need and he likes to put them on his drum set over there. Uh, but right now... Right here it says B4, which means we are going to be putting these stickers on B4. So the first thing is story. We found the wrecked ship, which had the cannon on it. Would you like to put it on there, Luke? Yes, uh, could I do saber, please? I'll put the star on. Absolutely. So we found a wrecked ship near the island. Now there also is because, once again, and this is where, so if you get anything on the bottom, you complete this one. If you get to the second row, then you get the star sticker and this sticker. Uh, so this means you did a, a good job on it, and then the saber means you did a great job, because you can come back and you can play these scenarios again. You said you wanted saber, Sean? No. Star? I want saber. I want to do star. Okay. I want to do the saber. And there we got the saber, and we're trying to put them on the same place. So you can see every single mission, we have not only accomplished it, but we have accomplished it to the saber's satisfaction, which means you get at least 14. They cut the tree. Nope, nope, it goes on the bottom. But uh, Remember... I mean, yeah, I can cut the tree. Sure, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Not this guy. Ooh, and we have a choice to make. Now, this is this is one of the legacy, quote-unquote, aspects of the game, where you get to pick which one of the two treasures you get to put into your treasure bin. Now, I'm, I'm wondering if at the end of the game if your choices matter in some way, but for right now, not sure. So we've unlocked these six pieces of treasure. Which sword should green. we get? Hmm... One of them's kind of fat, one of them's kind of thin, yeah, too. Yeah, I kind of like thin ones. You like the thin one better? What yeah, are you thinking, Luke? the green one. I like the green one. This one? Yeah. All right, then that is our treasure for our treasure map, and then... I really, uh, want, bloop. I really wanted the um, purple one. Well, that's... Is it your turn for the extra sticker? Yeah. yeah well, I then got, the extra sticker goes to you. And we have completed Chapter 7, so the next time we play... We will, uh, we will go to chapter eight, and ooh, you can see there's some other stuff we'll have set up here, and uh, that's it. And, and there's two rule booklets. There's the rule booklet, which teaches you how to play the very basic version of the game, and it slowly, progressively adds all the additional rules, and then the adventure book as well. And that is how you're going to play Captain Pepe's Treasure Ahoy. But you guys are still loving this game, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah, this was, uh, we picked this one up at Gen Con, and so far, I mean, we've played it seven times since I've been home in two days. They really are digging the Captain Pepe. And I'm excited to get through the rest of it and see what more bells and whistles and neat little things they have in store. You got me off my boat! Sorry, Captain Pepe. But if this looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out the link down below. I'll take you down to Board Game Geek and you can learn more about it. Or if you want to support the channel, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below uh, as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make my biggest year ever. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye. I am left left and right. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.